Okay, this is a video on how to use a Save-A-Thread helicoil system. Pretty simple to do. So if you're watching this video, then uh, you're probably kind of desperate and you probably stripped out your spark plug or you just found out that it was stripped out. This is a pretty simple tool to be able to use. It's relatively expensive. I just bought this at O'Reilly's. It was about $54.00. You can get them on Amazon for about 35 bucks is what I saw, but I kind of want it tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. These are the parts that come with the kit. You've got a big tap, you've got the driver, and then you've got three different sets of inserts. I'm doing this in a small engine, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to be able to match these threads with one of these three. You can see that one is just a little bit too long and this one's way too long. And this one looks like it's gonna be the right size. Let's just take the head off. So this is the cylinder head. This particular one is off of a Tecumseh snowblower that I'm fixing for a friend. The threads are stripped out where the spark plug was. I pulled the cylinder head off just to keep it simple. So what we have here is the tap. These threads here are the original spark plug, and then you can see it's tapered. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the tap into the spark plug hole, nice and straight as possible, and then we're going to cut new threads into it with this. This piece right here, as you can see, this, in this insert, that is that particular one. And then the outside, you can see, goes right in. Let's go ahead and let's get it started. So if you're doing this on the engine, I would highly recommend coating this with grease. That way the metal shavings that are going to be coming off from these new threads being cut does not go into the engine. That's the last thing you want is metal inside the engine. It's going to go inside and then it's just gonna cut new threads. What I'm gonna do is just spray some WD-40 into there. So all I'm using is a 3 8 ratchet. I'm just gonna feed it through, and we're gonna slowly start to cut. The biggest thing is you wanna make sure that you're as straight as possible as you're cutting in there. This is kind of a good example of what you want to look at inside that engine. Uh, my valves are right here, and this needs to go in substantially more. What would have ended up happening is I would have ended up putting this into the top of the valves. Let's go forward and backwards a few times. So you can see all the metal filings here. That's why it's important if you're going to do this on the engine. You can do it. Just make sure you pack this with a whole bunch of grease. Oh, yeah. Now she's going really easily. I can actually pull that out by hand. Next step, you want to take this, remove it. You can see you got some nice cut threads in there. Spray it in some brake clean and just kind of clean it out a little bit. The next thing that we want to do is we want to coat a little bit of this. I'm going to put a little high temperature silicone in there. I'm using ultra copper. That's the best stuff that I've ever used. Next thing you want to do, once you have your little bit of ultra copper on there, you can go ahead and you can screw it in there. You want the knurled end, so this top part, to be on top. There we go. And you want this flush with the top. You can use a spark plug and get it a little bit tighter into there. And we are flush with the top now. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this driver. As you can see, it's kind of tapered. I'll show you with one of these other ones here. What it's going to do is flare out this knurled end into the cylinder head to be able to bite. So once it bites into there, then this should not back back out when you pull the spark plug out. When I hit it a couple times, not too terribly hard, but that way that taper will be able to set that. And you should be able to feel it. Right now it's kind of wonky moving around, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take it and tap it a few times. Ooh, you can actually feel it get set right in there. 
So now this knurling has bit into there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until that silicone dries. I'm at least gonna wait overnight, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the head back on. I'll put the spark plug back in tomorrow. All right, it's been about a day and a half. Waiting for those threads to dry up there because it's got RTV in it. So just let it sit in the shop for a while. All right, let's go ahead and put a plug back into it and see if we can fire it up.